going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan, and I hope you are all doing well today. Welcome to your Chelsea News video for today, where I'm going to be talking about three stories. The first being, yes, you've seen the headlines, Timo Werner. Is he really maybe not just going to go to Liverpool? We all know he wants to leave Leipzig. He's like, bro, the Premier League is wicked. He's really basically trying to get that big money move. And understandably, he loves the Premier League. Of course, he was talking about Liverpool for a long, long time, but he stopped sort of fluttering his eyelashes at Liverpool and he started talking about the Premier League generally a little bit more. And with reports saying that Liverpool have pulled out of the race to sign Werner, I'm not sure I believe that. Apparently, both Chelsea and Manchester United have contacted Werner's agent. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Chelsea target and Manchester United young starlet Angel Gomez has refused to sign a contract extension yet again for Manchester United, with his current contract running out in a matter of weeks. Could Frank Lampard in the Blues come sweep up this young and talented attacking central midfielder? Mm, maybe. And finally, a question to be posed to you guys about Chelsea's next Frank Lampard of 2013. That's right, Marco Van Hinkle. If he's going to be fully fit next season, should Chelsea consider using him? He actually... This guy boasted some incredible numbers when he was playing well captaining a side to a league title, winning aerial duels, being strong, scoring loads of goals. He's in his prime, he's 27 years old. Could Chelsea use this guy? I mean, forgotten man, right? So I have a lot to crack into today. As per the norm, I'd like to give you guys a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, please do. It takes just a moment. It's loads of fun, daily uploads. And if you want to help a brother out, why not like this video? All right, let's get into it. A quick word on Angel Gomez, the Manchester United. United starlet. Of course, he's in that gang of friends of like Sancho, Hudson, Adoy, all them lot. He is refusing to sign a new deal for Manchester United. They're offering him more money, but he's yet to pen a deal. Whether that's because he wants loads of money or whether he just doesn't believe he's got an opportunity there, I'm not so sure. But Man United do really want to sign him up to a contract extension, whether that's to protect the investment or indeed just because they want to play him eventually. He's not biting just as of yet. Now, Chelsea are interested in Angel Gomez, if you are to believe the reports that have been coming out for the last few months. And if he doesn't pen a new deal and his contract expires in a few weeks, he might come back down to London and sign for Frank Lampard and his young buccaneering blues. Buccaneering blues? Still, it's obviously another like attacking young midfielder, creative midfielder kind of guy. To be honest, for my money, I'm happy with Tino Andrin to be that next sort of a youngster that comes off the conveyor belt and sort of rotates in with the first team. So Angel Gomez, apart from it being funny that you're taking one of Man United's like greatest young talents away, be a bit of a waste in my opinion, so we'll see what happens with that basically. I'll of course keep you updated. Right, let's talk about big Timo Werner, the goal machine that plays as a sort of striker, running in behind or a left winger. Very, very, very lethal on the counter attack. Leipzig star man has got a buyout clause for around 60 million euros or something very, very reasonable indeed considering his offensive output and his numbers. Now, he was basically making kissy faces at Liverpool for a long, long time, and it looked nailed on that he was gonna go there, but there's been reports coming out saying Liverpool have changed their transfer strategy, and perhaps they won't be going in for Werner. To be honest, right, it doesn't make much sense for me why they'd go in for him anyway. He's very, very good on the counter-attack. He's pacey, good and running behind. Of course, Liverpool utilize pace on the flanks, but I don't think he'd play striker there because he couldn't be more different to Roberto Firmino. I think Minamino is like the next option as that false nine, not, you know, Timo Werner. So was he going to replace Mane or Salah? Maybe. Still didn't make much sense to me, but who am I to have any good knowledge on football? Just an opinion. So with the global pandemic and everything, Liverpool are apparently assessing their transfer strategy and may not be going in for Timo Werner now, which is interesting. So obviously the news stories have surfaced that both Manchester United and Chelsea have been alerted to this. Right, everyone's transfer strategy has to change. The whole financial climate's changed, but the interesting thing with Chelsea is they always had a really big transfer kitty for this summer. Not just because of the transfer ban and lack of spending, but you know, the Eden Hazard money, the Morata money. They had some money to spend. Now, of course, that will be reduced like everyone else, 
but they still can afford to do to make moves this summer. So the headlines, of course, are saying Manchester United and Chelsea have contacted Timo Werner's agent. His public comments have gone from talking about Liverpool to more so talking about the Premier League generally, how he really likes the Premier League. I think he just wants that move regardless. So it's good that Chelsea have contacted Werner's agent. Obviously, he's got a very reasonable buyout clause if they can convince the player to come to Chelsea. That would be superb. What a great player he is. And when it comes to Manchester United, you think if they're getting Werner, they are not getting Sancho, especially after Ed Woodward's comments about everyone needs to be realistic. We can't spend loads of money. They certainly can't buy Timo Werner and Jadon Sancho. We'll have to see what happens with there. I doubt maybe one will go somewhere and one will go the other. And to be honest, I can actually see more and more now Jadon Sancho staying at Dortmund for another year. So what is going to happen with Timo Werner? Does he come to Chelsea? Do we want him? We kind of want a backup rotational striker with Tammy Abraham. Timo Werner comes, we know the score. Tammy Abraham is going to be annoyed. <laughs> news reports ages ago were coming out saying Tammy's not signed a new deal yet. Not because he's demanding loads of money, but he wants to see what Chelsea do in the transfer window. Basically, you know, he might have had advice from, an from his agent saying, look, you're wearing the number nine shirt now because of the transfer ban. See what happens, mate. Just see what happens in the summer if they spend all this transfer, massive pile of transfer money on a striker. You know, just chill and see what happens. Do you know what I mean? Tammy Abraham has played first team football for the last few years, scoring loads of goals, starting every game. He does not want to start sitting on the bench now. Of course, Timo Werner can play on the left wing and can play with Tammy Abraham. And then you could have a front three of Werner, Abraham, and Ziyech, which sounds great, but poor Pulisic, right? Or maybe a 4-2-3-1 of Ziyech in the 10, Pulisic and... Uh, Werner on the flanks behind Tammy, but then poor Mason Mount. Anyway, you, you get what I'm saying. Now, I don't believe these stories like gospel. I'm just reporting them to you today because apparently Chelsea and United have made contact with the agent. So I wanted to tell you about it. I'm not sure any big transfers are going to happen this summer, but it's worth talking about probably a little bit more due to the fact how Timo Werner really wants to move, I think. The way he talks about the Premier League, obviously, there's the buyout clause in his contract. He insisted that was put in there. So I think if he wants a transfer to happen, maybe it will happen. And hey, if it's not Liverpool, maybe it could be Chelsea or United. It's looking likely to be one of those three. Right, let's talk about Marco Van Hinkle, man. Chelsea bought him in 2013 to be the replacement for Frank Lampard. An amazing, talented midfielder. Really good offensively. Leadership qualities. Good in the air. Very good winning aerial duels. Strong. Just superb qualities. Obviously went to PSV, uh, captained them to a title. Actually, let me tell you a couple of stats quickly. In the 17-18 season, he led PSV to a league title, scoring 14 goals from central midfield. 14 goals and registering four assists on top. And with all these goals and assists, he got four Man of the Match awards in a league title winning season. Superb. Like I say, he's got all the attributes. He's strong. He's good at winning aerial duels. He's very technical. He's got an eye for goal. And he knows what it means to win a league title. Very, very important in terms of midfield mentality. And he's 27 years old now. Prime. Prime. I know people talk about... Philippe Coutinho, and I'm not comparing him to Philippe Coutinho, who's the same age as him, by the way. Chelsea have Van Hinkle. He's knocking about Stamford Bridge. Like right now, I think he trains at Stamford Bridge or Cobham or something, and maybe not Cobham. He could he could be part of Chelsea's team going into next season. One absolute throwback that would be. And remember, this isn't like a normal Chelsea regime where a big like superstar manager says, no, I want to buy my player, I don't want to look at these guys. We've got Frank Lampard and Jody Morris. They will look closely at Marco Van Hinkle and think, you know what, mate? We could do something here, mate. We could do something. Put him in. What? The scenes of when football finally returns, Marco Van Hinkle starting a game and having a man in the match performance in the Chelsea midfield, everyone would be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> do you remember that? It would be amazing. I just don't want to rule it out. I think it could happen and it would be excellent and a throwback and interesting and most of all cheap because he already is a Chelsea player. It just feels like he isn't for some reason. Anyway, I want to get your thoughts and opinions on Marco Van Inkel. Get down in the comment section below. Does he still have time and a place at Chelsea? Let me know your opinion on that. Also, Angel Gomez, waste of time. Do you, I mean, he's a talented player. Express yourself on that. And of course, Timo Werner. Does he fit into this Chelsea team more than Man United or Liverpool? I think he probably fits in Man United the most in terms of running in behind on the counter-attack. What do you think? 
get down in the comment section below and tell me your thoughts. If you have enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you all, please, to like the video, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Football Therapy at Football Yannick, and go subscribe to my second channel where I do daily live streams, Yann's Yard, link in the top of the description. That's it for me, guys. You enjoy the football that's sadly not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.